In January 2015, Syriza became the first radical left party to form a government in Europe since the war. It plunged Europe into a four-month confrontation over Greece's 320 billion euro debt. But what is Syriza and where did it come from? I think when we look back on it, we'll just be talking about what can happen in a European democracy when the young and the unemployed and the fed up have their say. The far left in Greece has deep roots. The communist-led resistance beat the Germans only to clash with the British army in 1944. Then came a two-year civil war in which the left was crushed. Many of Syriza's leaders have grandfathers who were jailed, tortured or killed at that time. And many of Syriza's older activists were here in the 1970s when students overthrew a military junta. It was out of the so-called new left of the 70s, communists who rejected Moscow, that Syriza emerged. But for 70 years, Greece was ruled by political dynasties, one conservative, one socialist, both enmeshed in a system where the rich paid little tax and where corruption was rife. In 2002, Greece joined the euro. At this point, Syriza, still a loose coalition of the radical left, had less than 4% support. As the Lehman Brothers crisis plunged Europe into recession, Greek debt spiralled out of control. In 2010, the socialist government of George Papandreou went cap in hand to Europe for a bailout. We shall defend the euro, whatever it takes. Austerity began. By now, Syriza, whose name means simply Coalition of the Radical Left, had a new leader, Alexis Tsipras. And soon, it had a whole new demographic from which to draw support. The occupation of the squares in 2011 brought tens of thousands of young Greeks into political activism. Many joined Syriza. Meanwhile, the socialist government fell to be replaced by a conservative-led coalition and the harshest austerity program in modern history. Unemployment soared to 25%. Family incomes fell by 40%. In the 2012 election, Syriza lost by just two percentage points. Support for the old socialists collapsed and Syriza led the fight against austerity. What tipped the balance? Fascism and corruption. When the fascist Golden Dawn Party began terrorizing immigrants, many saw the conservative-led government as colluding with them and the police as their allies. It looks like the Greek state is finally getting to grips with the deeper problem, fascist infiltration of the police. While the Troika imposed harsh austerity, it seemed unmoved by the rampant corruption in the main Greek parties. So by January 2015, Greeks who wanted an end to austerity, an end to corruption and a firm line against far-right violence swung to Syriza. Many Greeks had high hopes. We are going to destroy the basis upon which they have built for decade after decade a system and network that viciously sucks the energy and the economic uh, um, power from everybody else in society. Tsipras' first symbolic act was to visit the monument to resistance fighters murdered by the Germans. He's called for Germany to pay war reparations. And while Syriza rules in coalition with a small nationalist party, Syriza's own willingness to combine left-wing politics with the defense of Greece's national interest has attracted many voters from the right and center. So Syriza is a hybrid, an old, disciplined Marxist party combined with a young generation from the Occupy movement, the Greens and feminists, and now thousands of ex-socialists, including some, like Finance Minister Yanis Varoufakis, who started out in the old Socialist Party. But the key word is coalition, and as it struggles with debt, austerity and economic downturn, the question is, will it hang together or split apart? Thank you for watching. If there's any other topics you'd like us to cover, then let us know in the comments below. If you found that informative, why not watch Lindsay Hilsom's film on the rise of the Islamic State? And subscribe to Channel 4 News to see all our videos.